So one of the things I think that's really important, and you'll see it mirrored in all aspects of your journey and your life is something that's called having a bias to action. So, and they're the, if you're watching this, the types of individuals that you want to have in your company. So what do I mean by having a bias to action? One of the classic things that stops people from progressing at a speed of knots is often the leaning away from having a bias to action. So what that means is actually you want to optimize for a tendency to take massive action in advance of thinking about or planning or organizing. And this is what often can kill time and it manifests in all areas of our life. So a good example, practically in your personal lives will be instead of thinking about washing the dishes, just wash your dishes. An example in your professional career, something that actually I see happening in this room in front of me, for those of you who are listening, when there comes to matters of task allocation, when there comes to matters of task distribution, when there comes to matters of learning about something, people want to spend too much time organizing when they don't realize they have all of the control and all of the ability in front of them. So practically, what does that mean? Getting the list of clients, getting the list of all of the scripts, taking the two minutes of pain to find out where all of those things are and immediately saying, right, between today and yesterday, I went through absolutely everything all by myself because I don't need anyone or to wait for anyone. That's that's a limitation that I place upon myself because it's more comfortable to wait, to plan, to organize when all of that, when you work with having a bias to action is frankly nonsense because there's no dependencies in the manner that you imagine them because typically more than one person will have the knowledge that you seek. So it's really important when you think about the people that you hire and in the way that you operate to have a bias to action. Okay. So a uh, third example is if you're thinking that there's things that you would bend and what, what, what often happens is that there's inertia and there's a little bit of willpower again, that's required to take that additional step. So a good example of it, and I will highlight it right now. Lydia, you're already here. The reason that I brought you here was because of my own bias to action. I simply brought you here to help you to remind me on our call, whenever we do our next call, to make sure that I buy some damn shower gel that's organic, to remind me to use unblocker for my shower because it's getting plugged up and to send you a video of every single faucet and shower head in my house because I want to install natural water filters because the water that comes out of most taps is corroded and full of chemicals. So if you look into a lot of what people talk about with water, don't drink tap water. A lot of my family laugh, but the simple actions that you can take by installing a 20 pound water filter that contains ultimately six layers of sediment and rock, the same stuff that water goes through up at mountain ranges, you can install it on your shower head and you can remove 85% of the crap that comes out of water. So Lydia, I brought you here simply because I was reminding myself that if I didn't ask you to chase me on it, I wouldn't make those purchases myself. That's the only reason I brought you here. Please chase me on that. I'll get you those videos. I need to buy those things. That's it. See you later. So I listen around the room and I hear all of this nonsense about, oh, I need to talk to this person. Oh, I need to organize that. Oh, there's this WhatsApp group. Any single one of the people in this room could have got the list of the clients, could have got access to the Google Docs, could have started learning the scripts, but it's more comfortable to be comfortable which is why in your life, working from a place of having a bias to action, let me not talk about it. Let me just do it. Let me not talk about the cause. Let me do the cause. Let me just say, you know what? What is it? There's how many projects are there? Cool. Just give me one project. I just want to call. I'm going to call within the next 15 minutes, even if it kills me because the only thing that's stopping me is fear because nothing's going to happen. What is the worst possible outcome? Someone will hang up on me. Well, you know what? That's probably going to happen anyway. So why don't I do it anyway? So for all of you who are hiring people, for all of you who are listening and thinking about your own life, 
get used to having a bias to action. Get used to, in many, some cases, thinking less and doing more, because by doing more, you learn more, and the volume of output corresponds with the volume of learning, which actually feeds into you being able to do more because you can think less because thinking, insightful thinking, is often a consequence of massive output because then you can learn at a rate of knots. And the person in this context who ultimately, for example, says, you know what? I hear what the objective is. I can probably do all of these things myself because all of the answers are out there. I don't need to wait for anyone. So if this person's busy, that's not my dependency. That's an artificial dependency because I can act and take action. I can figure out the dialer myself when it comes to getting access to tools and learning the tools because the tutorials are out there. When it comes to getting access via logins and authorization, is there only one person? Well, it's logical there'll be multiple people that have access to the tools. So this has echoes across every single thing that you do. So always, always with all of the work that you do have a massive bias to action. Based upon this, Give me one or two key things where you think, you know what? I can probably do a lot of these things all myself. I don't need to wait for anyone. Give me one professional one. And if you will, give me one personal one. So who wants to go first with something that's either professional or personal? Go ahead, Evan. Yeah, I keep saying I have to wait for the uh, sales mate login and things to be sorted out. But I'll probably just get uh, back to touch with cold calls outside of Pearl Lemon as well, just just calling the nearest local companies just to get back to grips with that opening. Absolutely. If you need practice, use your mobile. You've got minutes. Yeah. You don't no one needs to, no one needs to wait for sales mate. And in fact you can record your calls because you put it on speaker, you hit record on your laptop and hey presto, I have my first recorded call. People people have this artificial desire to wait and put barriers in front of themselves when it's that's not expansion mindset. So amazing. Thank you. You don't need to wait for sales, mate, to have made calls. We lost an entire 10 days because our entire sales team, this is no offense, but decided that I need sales, mate. Deepak can, you know, that anyone can come up with some solutions. And Deepak, can I just buy some Zoom credits? And can I just call from there? Deepak, can I just buy the, no one, no one came to me with any solutions. Everyone's happy to lean into problems. And it's just the wrong way to live your life. So as you said, you don't need to wait for sales, mate. No one needs to wait for sales, mate. You're in the UK. We're calling UK companies. Just say, bro, give me a list. I'll call them myself. Oh, we're calling restaurants. I know 10 fish and chip shops just down the road from me. I can call them us. Oh, wow. I landed an appointment. Boom. Already shown everyone else something different. Amazing. Great. Thank you. Someone else give me something that's either professional or personal. Well, yeah, Aaron. I was. Well, ha, 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 hang on. So, Riaz, just for the other one, it's a doubt. Hands up, as you've seen. And then yeah. we'll go from there. No, th thank you, buddy. Uh, Aaron, and then Riaz next. Um, yeah, on sales, mate, I can see the names of all of the companies that we're calling for. So, I could have just taken it on myself to go and research those companies without being sent the onboarding forms, things like that. Just kind of getting familiar with who I'm going to be calling for. Exactly, exactly. And the problem is, is that. For those of you coming out of academia, academia just teaches you fucking spoon feeding and it's not it's not the way that you win in life. So exactly. It's building that proactive muscle that we spoke about. Right. It's like, you know what? I had all of the companies anyway. I could have gone to their about us pages. I could have put that into chat GBT and I could have probably have just figured out a script all myself and it would already have put me ahead. Amazing. Amazing. Great. Let's go now to Riaz. Yeah. So I was wanting them to go through the training videos and I was wanting to go through the campaigns all myself by the end of the day and then decide like tomorrow, you know, after having a chat with them based on how comfortable they were on which campaign would be more complicated. And I see it's caused chaos. I should have just decided, look, boom, you know, just pick this client and giving it to them. Yeah, absolutely. So don't yeah. and thank you. That's fantastic. And what often happens is we place our own constraints on other people. So we limit the progress of others when we say unintentionally, you know what, let me have that onboarding call with you. And that might end up being the day after tomorrow, whereas it should always be 
the, the, the attitude should be, Aaron, I need to brief you on this thing, but you're a smart kid. I trust you by the time we have met to have figured everything out your damn self because all of the answers are with other people in the company. I can w meet you tomorrow, but by all means, don't wait for me. Come to the call and already know everything so you have all of the answers to all of the questions that you already figured out that I was going to ask. Do you see how that's different, guys? So don't place your own constraints on other people. Where you can't meet them, always encourage them to, but do your best to figure it out yourself and set people free. So amazing. Thank you, Riaz. Shania. Um, yeah, mine, I mean, I try to be as proactive as I can be. Obviously, just now I just realized that I need access to the campaign, like onboarding for the client side, mm -hmm. like the list, so I can go through it myself and just see, because obviously I will only be calling on the client side for an hour a day. So I can even go between campaigns. It's not a problem for me. I've got experience in doing that. So I can do more than one campaign a day. It's not a problem. Um, I just need access to that. And then personally, probably I've been asking cases sort of covered by the front door out for about a month. And I just think I just need to go and find it myself because it won't be done otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so you know, some some of these things you think, you know what, it's an additional three minutes of effort. And the cognitive load that I'm placing upon myself is way bigger than the actual task. It's like, why don't you do that? Whereas, like, you know, what? why don't I just do it myself? It's two minutes. Great. Amazing. Thank you. Let's go now. I think that is everyone. So does anyone else have any other final comment before we wrap? Okay. Amazing. So for those of you who are listening, having a bias to action is so, so important. And don't allow... Be mindful of other people placing constraints upon you. You don't need to wait for other people, even where they say, we need to have that meeting. Most of the answers to your problems, 90% of them you actually have access to. There's very, very rarely what I would call key person dependency. That's just a perception, meaning that, oh, I must go to this person because only this person have the answers. In almost all cases, that is never the case. There's almost always multiple people, including, of course, Google and AI, that has many of the answers. So don't wait for anyone. Take decisions into your own hands.